Good morning, cyber friends. Lonnie here from Heart of Oak with your daily update. You know, when uh, we went out to the portal this morning, Mage Wendy and I were talking about how we've actually lived on boats for all of our lives, and uh, that's uh, about 40 years of living on boats. And so we thought, you know what, let's ask Gandalf if there are any, any uh, dimensions out there which are primarily ocean or water. And he went, sure. And he said, just have a look here. So he showed us several uh, dimensions that consist mostly of water. And naturally, we got real excited about that. Uh, anyway, uh, I've showed you some of the pictures here. What we're going to do now is we're going to uh, bring back the portal report for today. So stand by and uh, enjoy the report. And uh, I'll see you right on the other side. I'm so glad that everybody liked me. I'll be back probably some more times. I'll be hosting the second part of the reportal for Lonnie today. This is the second half of the story. The journey took them through the treacherous landscapes and into the heart of the dark forest where they managed to find the ancient chamber of light. They discovered a key to ending the evil spell and the people of Griffin saw the beauty in the land and the valor of the warriors once again and the enchantment of the fairies. The curse now broken, Griffin was back to normal and the earth ring was protected. I'll talk to you later, bye. With determination burning in his heart, he gathered Saber, Valen, Yvonne Marty, Dolan, and even Pippin, who still managed to believe in hope despite the darkness that had descended. Together, this unlikely group of heroes formed an alliance to break the curse, and save Griffin from the clutches of the dark forces. Their journey took them through treacherous landscapes and into the heart of the mysterious Darkwood, where the source of the evil magic was said to reside. As they delved deeper into the forest, they faced challenges that tested their unity and resolve. But through unwavering friendship and newfound strength, they managed to find the ancient chamber of light. Here, they discovered the key to dispelling the curse, a forgotten spell of restoration hidden for centuries. Guided by their shared purpose, the heroes channeled their collective energy into casting the restoration spell. With each word spoken and every heartfelt intention, the grip of the evil spell weakened. As the magical incantation echoed through the land, the citizens of Griffin slowly awakened from their indifference. Color returned to the mushroom world as people once again saw the beauty in nature. The valor and warriors, the enchantment of fairies, and the wonder of talking animals. Saber and Valen's bravery was recognized, and Yvonne and Marty's spells wove magic anew. Pippin's oinks of joy once again resonated in the skies. The dark forces, thwarted by the hero's unity and resilience, retreated into the shadows. Ragnar and his companions had not only broken the curse, but had proven that the power of friendship and determination could overcome even the darkest magic. With the Earth Ring protected and Griffin restored to its former glory, the heroes stood as a testament to the strength of unity and the unyielding spirit of those who believed in the light. And as their story spread throughout the land, it inspired others to stand up against darkness and preserve the magic that made Griffin a truly extraordinary realm. Well, that was interesting. Thank you, thank you very much, Gandalf, for that uh, for that report. And I'm sure all of us out here in the cyberspace are uh, really pleased to see that. Uh, I want to wish you all uh, a really happy day and a wonderful evening. No matter what you're doing this evening, have a great time. And uh, as we uh, leave for the day, I'm going to uh, show you uh, a seascape that Gandalf showed us through the portal. Uh, that's uh, actually what you've been looking at here uh, for, uh, for the last few seconds. Uh, so, have a great, great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.